Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening and welcome. So I was about to tell you that um, tonight, you know, as it has happened in many occasions, we were supposed to, or we were uh, going to be careful with the uh, electricity uh, going out. But um, apparently you guys are lucky and I am lucky as well, because as soon as I joined the class, it stopped raining. So it means that, you know, it is very, very possible that we're going to be able to finish the class with uh, or without interruptions. So, yeah, I feel like, uh, you know, tonight is going to be great. The activity that I have for you tonight is in the least or to say the least different. OK, it's going to be something different. It's going to be something related to reading. However, it's not going to be simply just reading. I don't know how good you are, at this, you guys are at this, but it's a challenge. What I'm trying to do is basically that I'm trying to provide you guys with a challenge. I'm trying to, um, you know, get you to work on things that are a little bit harder. And this evening, I have four different readings, okay? Just so you know, I have the links for four uh, different uh, web pages. And for all those, you know, as soon as you join or as soon as you follow the link, you're going to be landing as a reading exercise. There is a huge paragraph or a couple of huge paragraphs. And the idea for this evening is that you guys go ahead and read the whole paragraph, of course, in a smaller groups as we did yesterday, maybe groups of three people. Um, and as you read the paragraph, I want you to create a summary so basically, um, you know, uh, making the, the big uh, paragraphs smaller and bring that to present it to the class. So it's something, it's an activity that is a little bit tough, I know, but the topics are not really that complicated. The topics are, are related to like, um, you know, the monarchy. Um, one is about Martin Luther King. The other one is about um, American democracy. And the other one is about um, electric cars. So. It's not like that hard, but the idea is that we get to read, analyze, and make it smaller. So I know it's tough. I know it might be tough, but still, it's going to be a nice activity, in my opinion, because it's going to help you a lot to like um, take the information that is important from a paragraph and make it smaller. So it's going to include reading and writing as well. So that's basically it, you know, creating a summary about a um, reading exercise. Now, I know that uh, we also need to like give some time to the rest of the people to join in. So while we do that, or well, while we you know have some extra time, what I want you to do or what I want to do right now is basically, you know, go ahead and uh, um, yeah, get to hear about you, get to, um, to of course, as, as per usual, get to know you, a little bit better and I want to know what is your hobby so that's the question that I, I will be asking you guys tonight like what's the passion you know that you have in my case for example something that makes me feel passionate or something that I'm passionate about is um, Formula One so that's one of the things that I love um, to like read and know a lot about so yeah I'm really into it I'm really into Formula One so I would say that that is my current passion. I know that passions are things, you know, that um, change from time to time. So while we wait for a little bit, I would like to hear from you and to hear from your passions. Like what's that thing that you have that you love to do, that you enjoy to do? So how about we hear maybe from Luis? In your case, Luis, what is a passion that you have? Good evening. Good evening. A passion yes. that I have. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is not a passion for me, but it's a, a more more to say that a, a hobby, mm -hmm. a hobby, uh, maybe the cars. Yes, I I like cars, and uh, I. I I know a lot uh, about them. 
I, I'm not a mechanic, but I love the, uh, to watch them. Uh, I have one car and, mm -hmm. and it's good for me. That is my, my hobby, okay. but, not, but not a passion. Okay. A passion, I, I think I don't have any passion for me, but a hobby like a car. And All also right. the, sport, the sport, I like to go to running to make it like a jogging all, all mornings. Oh. I, by 6 to 7 p.m., I'm going to a field here for for my home. I'm going to to jogging, uh -huh. right? And uh, that is my another hobby for oh. me. And what is your favorite car? Now that you talk about cars, what is your favorite? My favorite is uh, that uh, off-road car. Yeah, I like the the to go to the. No, I like to have one car, but that I can use for any any uh, place. Situation. Yeah, situation here in, in town and the country, uh, right, just I have one, mm -hmm. but I, I like <laughs> that, that's, that's okay. all that, my, my, my hobby. And the, another one is the sports. The, the sports, I, I like to go to, to the football fields here near to my home. And the, I, I make a, a joy in like one hour per day in the morning. Okay, great. Very good. Thank you very much for sharing. Hey, thank um, you. You're very welcome. How about Imelda? In your case, um, how about you? What is your your passion or a passion that you have? My passion. Um, first of all, I I have three. Oh, cool. I start with with um create things mm -hmm. i love creating and um photography and paint things like this and yeah i was also looking at the stitch that you have behind you oh yeah uh -huh. but that is my my very first uh draw oh. and um now i i'm painting uh on the Manta Cruda, mm -hmm. I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, crude and I, I made, uh, uh -huh. I made pillows and um, uh, personalized pillows. Oh, that's the great. Mm -hmm. This is the cover. Oh, uh, pillow. Inside, yeah, inside is is the uh -huh. pillow. Oh, and this great. is the cover. That's great. Yeah. All right. So very good. You love creating. You're into painting and sort of like coloring as well. So nice. That, yeah. That's very good. You know, those are passions that also um they can give you access to like, you know, some income. So good. And also is the, uh, I love learning things. Yeah. All that I can learn, I I'm happy. Okay, so it. you're you're going to enjoy tonight then, because as I said, you know, we're gonna go and do like a like in certain. It's not an investigation. It's more, as I said, uh, reading and then doing a summary. That's what we're gonna be working on. So yeah, it's gonna be something new, I think, uh, or I hope that you know it's it's gonna be something new for you guys. Okay, how about in the case of um, um, Gabby Garcia? What is a passion that you have? Hi. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, hi. Okay. Yes. Uh, well, I I love trying new stuff. Mm. I think that uh, that's the thing that I that I prefer of of living. I love food. Uh, I love trying or tasting tasting different kind of food. I have proved or taste 
Indian, um, Italian, Korean, Japanese, um, Mexican food, uh, Peruvian food too. I love traveling or visiting to another places. I have been in Costa Rica, Guatemala, Honduras, Peru, um, Los Angeles, uh, Chicago. Uh, I love buying stuff. Maybe things that I'm not going to use, but I love buying stuff. I love Dollar City, for example. Uh, <laughs> and I love arts too. I love um, playing the piano and painting. I think that, that that's me. All right. That's, that's all the stuff that I love. <laughs> Great. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice and it seems like, you know, you get to enjoy life because there are many things that you like. And uh, that's amazing. Uh, you know, the, the, the smaller the details, the greater they become when we appreciate them. So nice. You know, it sounds very, very good. So great. Okay. Very, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. And yeah, I'm also a very a habit visitor of Dollar City. I love to go there whenever I have like five dollars, you know, extra. I know it's not a lot, but it's still, you know, five dollars can get you interesting things at Dollar City. So great. Very good. Um, how about in the case of um Leslie? How about you? What is a passion that you have or passions? Okay. My big passion is learning more about human rights and migration and how to continue to contribute so that issues are not invisible, are not visible. In fact, today I present the essay to finish my degree and they congratulated me for doing an excellent job about the LGBTQ plus population mm -hmm. in the world. Oh, is it a master's or a bachelor's? Bachelor's. Oh, great. And that was my job. Very good. And I was discovering new music. Uh-huh. Amazing. And you know, amazing. Very good work. Thank and you. congratulations once again. Thank you. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you then. Um, now, so as I said, it's basically 8.15, so... I think we're going to move into that once again. I'm going to explain it now in Spanish just so, you know, as I as always, I make it completely clear. La idea de esta noche, como les digo, es ponerles a prueba una vez más. Ya les había dicho antes que esta, esta semana va a ser básicamente acerca de esto, ¿verdad? Esta noche vamos a estar poniendo a prueba otra habilidad, que es la de crear eh, resúmenes, sí, o summarizing. Eh, tengo listos, como les dije, cuatro enlaces, sí lo que significa que puedo crear cuatro grupos, aunque de momento creo que solo me alcanza para tres. Pero con estos grupos, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a estar trabajando eh, en leer esa información. Ahora, en un momento pensé eh, que pues quizás leerlo todo puede ser, um, digamos, muy poco para un grupo de tres. Así que, si ustedes gustan, podemos aumentar un poco el reto. Abajo, en la parte final de todos estos enlaces que les voy a enviar, hay una serie de preguntas, unos ejercicios. Entonces, si ustedes están de acuerdo, lo que podemos hacer es también aumentar un poco, como les digo, el reto y eh, que una de las personas integrantes del grupo se dedique directamente a eso. ¿sí? Se dedique directamente a contestar las preguntas. Y luego, pues, cuando regresemos, una vez más, ya básicamente al final de la clase, aquí tenemos que presentar el resumen que hagamos de la información que hemos leído, ¿verdad? Porque, como les digo, hay alrededor de cinco párrafos en cada una de, la, de, la, de, los, eh, de los reading exercises. Entonces, presentar el resumen como de qué trataba lo que leímos y sería de presentar, eh, o en ese caso más bien, podría ser enviar una captura de las respuestas, eso lo podrían hacer a través del grupo, de las respuestas que hayan obtenido eh, en estos ejercicios. Eso, como les digo, si ustedes están de acuerdo, si ustedes no están de acuerdo con la idea de contestar eh, los ejercicios, pues bueno, podemos hacer simplemente lo del resumen, pero esta noche sí deberá ser un compromiso que todos trabajemos, todos tratemos de eh, ser parte, ¿verdad? Entonces, ja, referencia, este, de, <risa> <risa> entonces, de, o sea, de, 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 de verdad poner algo en lo que será el resumen. 
Así que les recomiendo que no solo se dediquen uno o dos a trabajar, que traten de incluir a todos y que, por ejemplo, podemos hacer delegar un párrafo para ti, un párrafo para mí, un párrafo para la otra persona. Sí, porque de esa forma todos vamos a estar haciendo algo. No solo vamos a estar ahí, ¿verdad? Esperando que terminen el resto de compañeros de hacer lo que teníamos que hacer. Así que, esa es la misión. Um, no sé, do you have any questions, any doubts that you would like to clarify before starting? Entonces, as I said, ahorita voy a crear los grupos. Cuando cree los grupos, a cada grupo les voy a enviar el enlace que le va a corresponder, ¿verdad? Y que los va a llevar al, a la lectura. So, um, do you guys have any questions about what we're going to be doing? We have to create um, a resume about the, uh, the reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Solo que en inglés se dice summary, porque resume es un... Eh, básicamente currículum. Es un currículum, ajá. Entonces, real, right. ajá. Sería uh -huh. summary. Yeah, yeah. Sí, ajá. Yo también casi digo resume hace ratito, así que no problem. I mean, right now I know... That, I copy. That, yeah, it's okay. All right, so... Uh, Apart from that, any other questions you guys may have? How many lines? Um, maybe around 10 to 12, because as I said, it's five paragraphs, which is a lot of information. So, you know, creating a, a summary about so much information in a few lines will be very hard. So maybe 10 to 12 lines or 10 to 15 lines. Yeah, 10 to 15 lines. Um, any other question? Question, <clears throat> sorry. Already, so it seems it's uh, all cleared out. Um, uh, right now, let me see. I have here. Um, one sec. Uh, we're gonna do this. There we go. So, um. One second. There we go. So I feel like it's, uh, yeah, well, we're going to try it. Hopefully someone else joins and we're going to add, you know, one more person to the room number three. If not, I'll be there to help. I can help you guys out because on room number three, I only have um, two people. But yeah, let's get started and let's get to work. Yeah. Um, solo nosotras dos somos. Yeah, I, I think we are. Se supone que I, there, there she comes. Yeah, that's there she goes. That's because Rosa was supposed to be with you guys as well. All right, so there is your link. Um, yeah, that's your link. So try to open it to see if it works, please. I'll be back. The information? Yes, yes, yes. Estaba enviando lo de los otros grupos. Aquí estoy ya. One sec. Okay. Uh, so here it goes. Oh, sorry. Well, let's see. Let's see what's everyone here. Oh, yeah. Here. That's your link. So try to open it, please, to see if it works. Okay. I'll be back in a minute. So, so you guys are the ones who are going to be working only in a group of two or basically just in, in, in couple. Um, so you're gonna have the chance to choose. I have two topics. I have one that is about King Charles and one that is about um, that is about democracy. Which one would you like to, to work with? If I have to do a recommendation, I think the democracy one is easier, but I'm gonna let you choose. So. King Charles or democracy? Which one would you take? I think democracy could be good if okay. Walter wants to. Uh, democracy is okay. all right. For me, it's good. It's good. Great. So here is your link. Try to open it to see if it works, and let's get to work then. Yeah, it works. All right, great. Now that I think about it, you guys were working together last night as well. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
outside yeah, that. Well, <laughs> yeah, well, um, what you might call it? Uh, did it work? The the link? Yeah, that works. Okay, great. I'll be back then. Okay. Hello, hello. Did it work? Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So let's get to work then. Yes. Okie dokie. On the night on April 4th, 1938, someone was. I think that we should, uh, like, uh, taking the, the, the important part and to put in a word page like to to be to be I don't know uh, we can read together or we can divide the the reading so in Magna Carta then I will try to to continue with this part partly and finish with in the course. I will try to count again. Okay. Uh, he, uh, oh, no. uh, are you watching the the Magna Carta? In this moment, yes. Okay. Uh, the first paragraph, the, the first that, text. Yeah. In in his address. In his and, address. Yeah. I think that's one paragraph and finish in the first place. Then you have when and the third one is as gentlemen. The, fourth. This, the, the first is for me or for you. No, it's for you. It's for me, okay. In the first for me. Yeah. Okay. Uh you you are going to to read and summarize the first five paragraph, starting with in his address and finishing in inspire partly. And then I will start with as far as basic. Okay, and in this moment. Yeah. Okay. I think that we have to work in like that because we have few minutes. So if you want, uh, we can have for about five minutes to read and summarize the paragraph, and then, uh, if you have the the the, the, the summarizing, you can put it on the chat, and then we have to read all so we can try to to get together the the summarizing and the the uh wait. and we have the student worship right oh jesus you don't have to do that oh okay in, yeah in your case you don't have to do that because you're only two people Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have to start with the photograph. Maybe we have for about five minutes and then we can read together. So we uh, try to get all. So I'm going to start right now. Okay, five minutes to to make the report. Yeah, I think okay. we have five minutes to read and then uh, to start doing this more rice. Okay, okay.
anywhere near uh, being able to cope with the huge increase and demand for electricity that will accompany any rapid growth in electricity by cost overship without adequate supply of all the vital ingredients of electric motors and batteries or without power supplies that are able to provide the electricity requires to recharge millions of electricity oh, yeah. batteries. Hmm? Require. Uh, requires. Mm -hmm. Let me make it again. Uh, required to recharge millions of electricity batteries every day, as well as applying the current we need for everything else, such as lighting, heating, trains, and electricity device. The electric car revolution will revolve against and solve problems. Oh, and so see, and solve problems at all but the most developed countries. Well, I think we're termina. Governments. <laughs> if you want, I okay, can continue. <laughs> okay. Governments and vehicle manufacturers are fully aware of these issues, but the consensus among among us uh, <laughs> consensus among policy makers seems to be that somehow technology would come up with the answers as it often has in the past. Analysts also predict that changing social attitudes Así se dice. Attitude. Attitude. And, yeah, it should be and, attitude. <laughs> and environmental awareness will lead to a reduction in private... By... <laughs> ya se me olvidó la pronunciación de todas las palabras. Que, que, que oso. <laughs> ¿Verdad? <laughs> sí. Use an a fall in the numbers of vehicles on the roads. The predictions is likely to be right, though not necessarily for those reasons alone. Any shortage of essential components will force up the cost of ele electric vehicles, and any shortage of battery recharging. Facilities or. <laughs> Siento como que estoy empezando a aprender a leer, ay no. Or capacity will discourage people from buying electric vehicles, leading to a fall in the numbers of vehicles of the road. Hasta aquí que hemos entendido. Um... I understand the different supplies to create a new car by Tesla. That are more friendly with the environment. I understand that. Yeah, but the question is, it is a realistic, realist, realistic or optimistic so we have to... I think it's optimist because they don't use... We... <laughs> Sorry. My dog... Photo <laughs> head ventilator. I think it's more friendly with the environment. So that's been... They're more optimist because uh, they use different components and elements with the that that allow use electric vehicles mm -hmm. i understand you? all uh, all that you say but i don't know how it's right you know can you put it on the chat Please. Yeah, wait.
solo como comercial y ya que estamos en silencio, voy a aprovechar para contarles algo acerca de este tema. Este, ok. Se supone, o sea, según ciertas personas, ¿verdad?, que se dedican a eso, a, a buscar teorías y todo de la conspiración, muchos creen que en realidad esto de los vehículos eléctricos, o sea, si bien es cierto, para muchos sí parece ser un beneficio, um, digamos, a largo plazo, eh, dejan de lado una cosa bien importante, que es el daño que se genera al ambiente a la hora de obtener los elementos necesarios para, para crear la batería. Entonces, según mucho, lo que está pasando en realidad, y si ustedes se fijan eh, bastante en esto, eh, se está dando de que, o sea, casi que toda la, la atención, digamos, de los eh, fabricantes de autos se está tornando ahora hacia los, los carros eléctricos. Entonces, se dice que lo que pasa es que quieren quitarle el poder a los que de momento tienen el poder, que pues son todos aquellos que poseen eh, petróleo, ¿verdad? Entonces, y que lo que se está tratando de hacer en sí es como inclinar la balanza hacia algo donde todos tengan acceso, que es la energía, o sea, que fácilmente se produce, y no es... Supuestamente. Ajá, y no es tanto, tanto por el beneficio que esto pueda tener al planeta, sino más bien por la idea de descentralizar el acceso a la movilidad, o sea, descentralizar eh, lo del petróleo, que o sea, es algo que pues, son pocos países los que lo producen, pocos países los que lo distribuyen, entonces, um, y pues genera un montón, ¿verdad?, de, de complicaciones. Entonces muchos creen, o se dice que es eso, es querer quitar el monopolio que existe de momento para el transporte y como darle acceso a, a otras rutas, digamos, o a otras personas que puedan ayudar. Y que se supone, por otro lado, que por eso es que Elon le nombró Tesla a su compañía de, de, de movilización porque dicen que, eh, o sea, Tesla en su tiempo, ¿verdad? Él quiso inventar cosas así, o sea, como que todo el mundo pudiese generar su propia energía con inventos innovadores y todo, entonces, pero que se le prohibió en su momento. Y que ahora, o sea, se supone que ese es como el intento de revivir las ideas de Tesla. O sea, de que todo mundo tenga acceso a algo donde no haya un control tan grande como lo hay con, con el petróleo. Lo que pasa es que todo es una lucha de poder. Uh -huh. O sea, no es tanto por el ambiente, sino Siempre, que es por los intereses políticos. Ni, ni, ni por el acceso a la gente, nada. Todos uh -huh. lo venden así, pero, pero no es así. Uh -huh. Y Leslie, profe, calla de que estoy queriendo escribir. <risa> <risa> no, sí, le estaba prestando atención. Yo ah, también, pero... ya sabía. Ajá. Pero se supone que algo así es el mambo. O sea, que no es tanto por el beneficio del ambiente, que a la larga puede llegar a ser incluso hasta más perjudicial por los gases, ¿verdad?, que se generan o lo, los químicos que se liberan al extraer, eh, pues, los elementos para, para fabricar las baterías. Entonces, ajá, es bien, bien difícil. A la hora de desechar esas baterías también, es como una batería uh -huh. de celular. Sí. Entonces, es demasiado peligroso para el ambiente. Sí. Más que lleva litio y todo eso. Bien complejo. Es más contaminante. Porque imagínense, o sea, en nuestro país ya vivimos eso, con, con lo que pasó con las baterías Record, hace mucho tiempo ya. O sea que pues sí. esa zona, ajá, no sé. Entonces ya, ya más o menos tenemos una idea como de primera mano, ¿verdad? Lo que se puede vivir. Sí, fue Entonces... como una, una contaminación que generó cáncer a mucha gente y, con, uh -huh. y daños a la piel. El agua se supone que tiene altos niveles de plomo, entonces que básicamente... Uh -huh nada recomendable ingerir entonces Ajá. vivir en estos tiempos es horrible sí, bueno. cada, cada tiempo tuvo su situación eh, eso estaba pensando de hecho eso justo eso pasó realmente cuando dije eso porque cada tiempo uh -huh. ha tenido lo suyo pero igual uh -huh. vivir en general es horrible no, sí. <risa> ¿Cómo si yo no soy de eso yo no gracias, soy de... gracias por la por la por la motivación, profe. Sí, o sea, uh -huh. no, ayer, no sé que ayer me reía porque estaba trabajando en la casa de una señora como de unos casi 100 años, digamos, la viejita. Ah, pues, entonces, y el muchacho con el que yo trabajo es bastante doble, ¿verdad? Entonces él se iba bajando de una escalera y casi le pasa encima, porque la señora pues ni ruido, así es, ella todo lo que nosotros tocamos lo quiere andar limpiando de inmediato, quitándole el polvo y todo. Ah, pues, y la señora, él, él le dijo a la señora, 
Pero avísenme, le dijo que casi, casi le caigo encima, casi le golpeo. Ay, papá, le dijo, un favor me vas a hacer. Y yo como, no. Ay, no. Esta señora se parece a mi hermana. Pero bueno. Lo anda buscando y no lo haya. Sí, la generación de ahora. Pero igual. Bueno, I'll let you guys do it. I'll go to another group. Ok. Ok. Yeah. But the article finish uh, saying that that case is is still open. The who who was the person that it uh, to this man, uh, Martin Luther King. So a lot of uh, newspaper of that country says that that man was as, as assigned by the government through the CIA or another secret organization. Yeah, but explain it is like a two or four lines, no? And we have to to have like 12 lines. The, then we, we have to write then to 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 know how much line do we have do you have do we have I, you can also take some literal lines. So some lines that you see on the paragraphs, you can take them, you know, as part of the summary. Um, like it's not like you have to create everything from scratch. Um, so yeah, you can take a few lines and then explain um, your final perspective. But yeah, it's, I mean, it will work, you know, if you take like one line here, one line there and try to like make them work together. So yeah. Yes. Okay, the first line, I think it could be Martin Luther King, leader of a uh, Nobel Prize, Ma Prize winner of who has been speaking to audiences in town and cities, promoting the cause of no violence and civil rights. Because here we are talking about who's the main, no? We're talking about. But I, I think the, the main idea is is like uh, the, the, teacher, the teacher said that we made we need to make a summary. So, according to the headline to this article, who killed to, to this to this person? I think a summary that we have we, we need to to say is that's my opinion is start with the end on this article, saying that at at this time. Uh, we don't know who killed to this to this man, Martin Luther King. So uh, there is a person that they uh, a person was sentenced to 90 years old, but this person was uh, uh, was freedom after 30 years in, in prison. So the, the same government uh, doesn't know who is the person or who is the organization that uh, uh, made this assassination, right? That yeah. is my, that is my summary. You want to, to give it because you 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 I think you you are the right person. You you know you you understand everything and. You can, you can okay, explain. Uh, when, I, I will explain to to the main room, Juan. Yeah, but to... you, you should have, um, I think, uh, some lines to to give like uh, the, the, like the guy, no? When you're going to be, when you're going to be talking, maybe you should uh, take some lines and to put like, like uh, in order, how are you going to be explaining? If you said like you're going to to start with the finish part, then you 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 should uh, copy the 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 last 
that's powerful. It says, um, maybe some organization or what skins assassination mastermind by someone secret white superman organization. Maybe we we don't know until today uh, who killed Martin Luther Luther King because until right now uh, there are a lot of uh, people that think that uh, they don't have the the correct uh, men who kill him and maybe what is the the CIA or some other organization but you you should have like written because you need to to have like a 12 lines no as he said yes we can we can a uh, speech like 12 lines but i i think we can we can say maybe a summary in one to five lines or, or 20 lines. That is depend how we can speak. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Or explain the, the summary. Okay, right. But I can see that we have only 15 minutes to finish the class. Yeah, if there are, if, yeah. If, if, or maybe tomorrow we need to continue. Uh, we, we are going to continue with this uh, speech. Maybe. Uh, uh, because yeah, there is no enough time. I think that there are like uh, three or four uh, uh, group. Three, three. Right. He said three. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, but I don't know. We are uh, in this discussion about this, but uh, I don't know how to, Sandra, how to say about this. Yeah. Please. <laughs> yeah, for me. Uh... I think uh, the same like uh, Lorena, uh, we can talk about uh, Martin Luther King. Um, we can say that he, he worked for the ra race base and say race, um, I don't know, uh, one, two, three, or five, six, seven paragraph. Uh, the part who talk about her, him, um, then we can talk about uh, the the first paragraph when uh, say that uh, the other person killed kill him. I don't know. And well, whatever. Uh, when when we got the the opportunity to make the summary in the main room, uh, we will say that according to the article and according to the Lorena and me, uh, we were. Uh, talking about this this point but i need to i think we need to to wait right okay 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 no problem for that. okay take to your time to to think <laughs> yes <laughs> to organize That's all that I have.
Espérame. En... Se me bloquea el teléfono, loco. Este, dice... The massive development of electric... That is a line. It is a line. The massive development of electric vehicles can only be possible if the conditions are met. This is a, a line. The other line um, uh, began with firstly the expansion of electric vehicles manufacturing is depend on the fragile ability of manufacturer to search. Then, uh -huh, to search. This is the other one. The, then, secondly, few countries currently have electric grids that are anywhere near. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó? <laughs> ah, eh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lights after the, the word firstly. It's below. Conditions. You find it? Uh, let's see. Well, it Secondly, is it's after since 2020. Secondly, few countries currently. Uh huh. That? Have electricity grids. And the. And the. Include lithium, cobalt, and red earth? No. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a good idea to uh, include the elements. Okay. Oh. So, it seems like it was a bigger challenge this time. Uh, as I could notice that, you know, some of you guys uh, were working hard, but still struggling to some extent. Um, anyway, we are here and I feel like, you know, hopefully you guys have uh, been able to gather as much information as required. And we're going to be sharing in just a bit because, yeah, the idea was basically to get you guys reading. I know it was tricky. I know that, you know, the information was advanced, but yeah, that's that's why we're here. That's the reason why we are here. And, um, you know, seeing you guys work in groups and seeing you work in like different ways each was, uh, really, was very good, actually. It was nice to see you organizing your ideas and, you know, trying to like see what works best so yeah, that was very, very interesting. I know it was a challenge because I, I was I was certain that it was gonna be one, but still, you know, that's part of what the language has to offer. And uh, actually, um, yesterday I was taking a test similar to the one that was offered at the like down, you know, section uh, or the, the last section. And uh, I mean, I have been learning English for quite some time and it was complicated to me. So I thought, well, these guys, you know, are in an advanced level already. So let's see how they deal with it. Um, so that's the reason why, or part of the reason why I decided to come with such an activity. So now I would like to hear on the last few minutes that we have, we have, we still have five minutes. What are your summaries about your topics? Because I know that you guys have at least some ideas. So I would like to hear your summaries and if we have the time, how did we feel during this activity? So, um, yes, Imelda. Can I talk? Sure, go ahead. First, because the rain is becoming stronger. So Okay, go uh, ahead. Our, our topic was the electric car revolution. Mm -hmm. And the question was, is it realistic or optimistic? Well, we we realized that it is something like optimistic, mostly. 
Mm -hmm. So uh, the summary is that the vehicles, um, electric vehicles, uh, are uh, make with different supplies and uh, with the technology that operate are lithium, cobalt, and rare earth. The massive development of electric vehicles can only be possible if conditions are met. Mm -hmm. And that this mean, therefore, that the world is on track to face out the use of petrol driving vehicles in the last than three years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay. Is that all from your team or is that all coming from you? Uh, our team. Okay. Our we team. have, uh, yeah. Okay, great. So yeah, uh, electric vehicles. Uh, as I was sharing with you guys, electric vehicles is a very interesting topic. It is trendy to some extent because many people are talking about it now. Many companies are considering it now. So yeah, but it's, you know, there is a huge debate that can take place. And as you said, it's more optimistic than realistic while we are living with electric vehicles. But yeah, we'll see about it. You know, it's like life, as life goes on, we might get to discover more about electric vehicles than we do now. All right. How about in team of uh, Walter and Miss Garcia? What's the information that you have for us? Hi. Hey there. Well, we have read about from Magna Carta to American Democrats. Okay, we already know that Britain is monarchy and USA is a republic. But they share something and uh, like heritage, but in human rights. Mm -hmm. even, though, even though they try to do the Magna Carta as the instrument to reach the human rights, the only thing they reached was giving the authority to the parliament. The Magna Carta helped to banish the idea of the divine rights of the kings and or the absolute, absolute monarchy in England. At that time, England was one of the first nations to become a republic, but it only lasted 11 years. The parliament reinstalled reinstalled the monarchy. In the 18th century, the USA Constitution got the principle of the Magna Carta and the English Bills of Rights into separated powers as ours, right? The ex exec I don't know how, I don't know how to pronounce it. Executive, legislative, and judicial. Mm -hmm. And nowadays politicians don't believe in democracy. Palace. Okay, very good. Yes, and that's basically what happened. You know, it. Um, I used to have a book that was mostly about that, about like the U.S. history. Well, I think I got the book for a uh, homework, but the thing is that in that book they also explained a long, um, like part of how difficult it was to establish the Magna Carta because the idea is, as you said, to like separate the powers and not having one person rule it all but having it as we do you know having a group of people in charge of doing something and another group of people in charge of doing another thing and then one person was in charge of doing other sorts of things so that's the idea the idea of democracy is basically dividing like the um, the duties and assigning a specific duties or the more important duties to people who are more qualified to develop them okay so uh, the last team uh, Lorena, Luis, and um, Sandra, what information do you guys have for us? Uh, teacher, uh, the information was about who killed Martin Luther King. Mm -hmm. According to this article, there is not a clarify who was the person or a Yes. Mm 
Is he gone? Hello, Luis. Yeah, maybe the rain got him, you know. Uh, so, Lorena, do you want to continue or do you want to leave it at that? I don't know. We don't have time. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, I think, mm -hmm. yeah, it's basically impossible. Well, um, as I said, I know it was a challenge and I knew it was going to be a challenge, but still, uh, you guys made it through. You got some information out of it. And, you know, uh, Imelda wanted to learn something new, so she, I, I expect that you did, Imelda. And uh, for the rest, I know that, you know, as I said, it's a challenge, but you guys did great. And the idea of English is that, you know, putting it to use and challenging yourself and trying to learn things that maybe are not that relevant to your life. But at the end of the day, they can help you, um, you know, gather more info, get to know more things. So, yeah. From now on, maybe you're going to have, you know, the chance to learn more things like this. Um, so for now, all I have to do, as per usual, is thank you guys very much for the hard work you have done this evening. And, uh, well, thank you for the class. So um, see you tomorrow, guys, wow. and have a great evening. So bye-bye <laughs> for now. Bye.